Greetings and hallucinations to all you people out there in FAF land. It is time for another episode of Another One Bites the Dust. The map is Ambush Pass and the player is the Cat, otherwise known as the Kappa. Pretty sure most of you have seen him around chat or around games, so you should know who he is. And uh, we are going to critique one of his plays and see how he can improve. going to zoom in on his perspective and watch what he does. Going for a double land start. Very, very good build on this map because you have to expand as quickly as possible into these side expansions. Um, that is repetitively redundant, but I suppose it makes a point. Um, he is going for an aggressive early start. Hunter pushing off to the right. Building a couple of engineers. Running out to snag these mexes and some strange ACU placement there. Very, very strange. Yeah, I would uh, reevaluate your starting build. Well, <laughs> that was a good little run. And hey, look, here come two hunters from the other player. This is a Cybern versus Cybern. And poof goes the hunter. Um, yeah, probably need to reevaluate your factory placement in respect to your ACU so that you don't have to walk and build and also more factories earlier would be a good idea because all of these rocks here from what I've seen of the good players playing this map the early reclaim is enough to just throw down as fast as you possibly can like five or six land factories which you are doing here with some power spam intertwined with it and they just uh, manually reclaim these rocks to keep themselves afloat and then their production kind of evens out and even if you stall a little bit on mass it's okay because you can just uh, pop this point defense I think there's a point defense down here somewhere and cheat and look yes there are two point defense three you can pop those point defense and reclaim in there to catch up your mass All right, got a nice little push going down on the left side. That is going to snag an engineer and a mass extractor. Good little catch. And the right side is secure. Point defense going up. Not sure how I feel about that, but I suppose it will stop any run bys. That is one advantage. I must say, all right, hard mass stall, and you still have two large boulders and a whole bunch of small rocks to reclaim and you do have a land factory out to the side good deal I did not see that earlier when I said you weren't building enough land factories good deal three large rocks that you have not reclaimed yet and ACU is spotted on the right hand side I really think an air factory would have been prudent considering the fact that you have zero scouting mini mass stall <laughs> there we go finally biting into that big boulder but it was not enough and the ACU is in your base not good not good at all now see what I would be doing at this point is since you know where his ACU is and you know where most of his units are I would be base swapping I would plow directly into this crap with my ACU kill all of the units get this PD down with my arty as fast as possible and do the same thing to him as he's doing to you and that would be definitely a prudent choice at least it would help you draw away his ACU from your base because you are about to get swarmed here he is throwing down a point defense I would imagine yes he is 
Good job getting those two point defenses up. They are going to alleviate some of the pressure. And nope, withdrawing ACU. Leaving the reclaim down there. Why? Why? That just took all of the pressure off of him. You have higher mass production and higher and more factories. Ah, that's... Excuse me, having trouble. That's why he has not run you over yet. Went tier 2. And the mass stall has hit once again. You're upgrading a mass extractor to tier 2, and you've already done one upgrade. That explains why there was such mass stalling. I doubt that you're going to have enough units to stop the next wave. You can see that mass extractor upgrade was what gave you the lesser number of tanks that allowed him to get all the way up into your base. And then, yeah, that was real, real good. Losing a couple of tanks there to a T1 point defense, although that is an honest mistake. I'm sure we've all been there. And also going for an ACU upgrade. At least you're not power stalling. That is one good thing. Three Tech 2 mass extractors. No wonder your your uh, mass income is so much higher. I cannot believe this is devolving into a turtle war. He has two, but slightly higher unit count. <clears throat> Still no Tech 2 land. That would be a very beautiful thing to see considering how high your mass income is probably what you're planning considering that you have all of this adjacency he now has air and you don't that is a bad sign flack flack needed there are jesters out now you did have the presence of mind to throw down a t1 anti-air but that is no match for a pair of jesters there is exactly zero anti-air in your mix and he went gun commander get your units out of formation please before they all die hoplites stealth and a gun ACU that is a brilliant combination for cybern absolutely lethal tier 2 is done you had better lay down some point defense and you had better start producing some air scouts because that stealth is going to mess you up <clears throat> and that is going to be a mobile missile launcher so point defense is not going to save you and he is mixing mobile stealth in all over the place that is the bad thing about facing off against cybern all right side expansion is down and the cat is going or uh, plop is going to get so much reclaim cat has got oh plop's not reclaiming okay then never mind well he is but he hasn't been Looks like Plop has finally passed you in mass production because you did lose these mass extractors off to the side. A flak is up along with two. Two T2 point defense. Although, since they are cyber point defense, that is going to suck very hard. MML 
coming down on this point defense. Alright, you've had air for approximately seven, six, seven minutes, and there has not been a single scout across the enemy base or across any of these expansions. So, you have absolutely no idea what is coming. He could be rushing a monkey lord on 30 mass for all you know. <laughs> Uh, tech 2 power generator although honestly I'm not sure why seeing as you're still floating 130 power well I guess when you are reclaiming you are going slightly negative but you're going to be overflowing 600 power and still not quite enough unit production. Please tell me there's not another mass extractor upgrading. Good. Good, 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 good. Mm, yeah. Why four power storages across the front? <laughs> oh my goodness. Kappa, you're killing me. I know you said this replay would be embarrassing, but this is exceptional. <laughs> Although, to some of you who have um, been watching my point of view cast for when I'm playing, this is kind of a do as I say and not as I do moment because <laughs> the crappy play that you see in those is with friends and it's in a team game situation which is completely different than one versus one ladder matches um, I think everybody gets significantly lazier in team games and then that much more lazy again when you're playing with a bunch of people you know and uh, <laughs> sometimes it's easy just to take the quick way out of things and be incredibly incredibly inefficient about the way that you build but since you're in voice chat and you're with a bunch of people that you know and you're coordinating and stuff you can still pull you know a 60 75 percent win rate so all right still plus 600 power need to be reclaiming these T1P gens and uh, I would have built that well there isn't any tech 2 yes there is there's tech 2 land I would have gotten a tech 2 engineer and built my power like way in the back behind your power is roughly even with your flak which means that T1 bombers could take it out fairly easily and it's also not covered by TMD, so that is kind of depressing. Why are you trying to rebuild a PD that is within range of the other PD? That's what I want to know. Seems like a very strange choice. And still no scouts. I want to see what's on the southern side, and I can't. Pro tip, when the other guy already has mobile missile launchers and already has point defense built, that is not the time to start a point defense war. That is not the time to build a fire base, period. As Cybern, because your shields are so stupidly weak. And then he can just throw a few units in and kill off everything that you have. And it's so sad to watch. And then on top of that, they're the Cybern mobile missile launchers. Which means that it doesn't matter how many TMD you build. One MML will kill one TAC defense, regardless Trying to think 
if one shot splits it, two TMD could stop one MML, which is about the worst mass to effectiveness ratio that you could possibly have because the MML already is, uh, well, I'm not sure on that one. I would have to look at the, ca the cost of the MML. <clears throat> You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I get the feeling that Plop is toying with you at this point. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, we're going to look for TMD Tech 2. Hmm. Odd. And suiciding into the Tech 3, which you did not know he had until the last second. <laughs> okay, guys, this is a learning experience if I can find the correct. All right, Tech 2, tech two Tactical Missile Defense, uh, 280 mass, and the Tech 2 MML... 200 mass so it takes over twice as much mass to build the TMD to stop a Viper so there is no way possible to ever win that ever you should not even try <laughs> uh, okay that was a funny game I, I hope maybe that possibly we can learn something from that lazy casting for the win but i trust that it was at least somewhat enjoyable and maybe maybe we can take something away from this that will not let us die in such a manner and i hope that that one thing is scouting people scouting okay i was gonna wrap it up for this cast i am gonna knock out another one today so i will see you guys over there thanks for watching